Assalamu alaikum listeners, welcome back to the accounting information system series and I'm going to discuss today the chapter number one of accounting information system which is an introduction about AIS and the accountant. AIS means accounting information system. So let's proceed towards the outline of this chapter. So in this chapter we are going to cover firstly we will see we will have an introduction or a proper definition of what is accounting information system and uh, with that we will have uh, a detail of accounting information system with reference to accounting. Then we will see what are the new trends in accounting information system. We will also try to relate accounting with IT and finally we will see a person who pursue his career or his education in accounting information system what are the job opportunities or what are the options available for him to earn the money so we'll be looking into the careers in the accounting information system so let's start with introduction so generally speaking accounting information system is actually applying the information technology to the accounting so when I say applying information technology to the accounting, we have different domains of accounting. So different different domains includes the financial accounting, managerial accounting, advanced accounting, auditing, taxation. So all the domains of accounting, when you use technology into them, that is known as information technology used in accounting or accounting information technology. So uh, with the help of this uh, IT facility in accounting field, the work for the people or work for different or uh, you know organization becomes very easy. It's more fast. It's more quick. It's more up to date. So uh, in addition to these benefits of accuracy and fast information, uh, there are an Another thing, there is another thing which is important to discuss that is it has increased the career opportunities for the people because now the people are specialized uh, with the technology as well as with the accounting so there are some specialized uh, employment opportunities which are available for such people who have combined skills of accounting and the computer skills or you can say the IT skills. Moving on towards uh, the definition of accounting information system. So if you want to define the accounting information system or AIS, it is actually a collection. Collection of what? Data and the processing procedures. We have to process the data in order to convert it into information, right? So accounting information system is a collection of data and the processing procedures when these two things works together it generates the information which is needed by the user so accounting information system today helps not only financial but also they helps in dealing with non-financial data and it deals with throughout the organization processes or you can say all the departments of the organization are Enterprise means organization, so it is being used in all organization. And it is mainly focused on the business processes. Now, what are business processes? We have sales process, we have production process, we have a purchasing process, right? Then we have marketing then we have HR so all the functions or the processes they are being facilitated in a wider scale by these systems so if they only deals with accounting we typically call them accounting information system but now more most of the accounting information system they are uh, they have integrated features of enterprise wide information system or you can say they help in facilitating all the organization processes not only accounting function but also all other processes as well so what are the challenges which are faced by the accountants because of uh, accounting information system so they should be able to provide the information to support the decision making 
this is one of the main challenge with uh, which accountants have because our internal management you which we call as managerial accounting or you can say the financial reporting team they need information they need timely you know uh, data so that they can take proper decision so this information is supposed to be provided by accounts so this this information is provided by the accounts more efficiently more timely if they are using the systems or accounting information systems uh, also they provide the data which is not only needed by the business functions but also to process the government uh, you know related transactions mainly taxes also all the accounting and finance operations should be properly handled so in this case accounting inf accounting information helps the accountant and also it facilitates the known accountants as well just few minutes back i told you that accounting information system on the wider scale helps hr it helps i uh, sorry um, your purchasing department it helps your procurement which is also known as the purchasing sales marketing so all the non accounting departments they also take the help of uh, these accounting information system because they need to know the budget they need to know the amounts they need to know how many overdues are there so these information will be provided by the accounts how with the help of accounting information system on timely manners so since we are talking about um, information system so we cannot ignore the importance of differentiation between data and information data is actually plural it's sum sum of word the singular is datum so data is the plural of datum data is raw fact raw fact means just some you know random uh, information which uh, you can say random uh, stuff which will not help you in making any decision you have to organize it to convert it into a meaningful information there is no organization in it it's not organized or it doesn't convey any proper meaning so um, the most common example is beginning of the audit trial now what is audit trial audit trial is a way in which the data flows be between different functions to arrive at a decision a most common example of audit trial is that uh, uh, you can say in a payroll system payroll means salary system for an employee uh, an input uh, a clerk or you can say a person who is entering the data he enters the number of the new employee just like uh, you have id for the students same is the case employees have particular id so he will be entering the id of the uh, employee in the system and then it's the purpose of accounting information si uh, system or it is the duty or it is the task of accounting information system to track all the records for this employee particularly wages that how much wage is due for this employee or how much is paid and why we call it as audit trial because this information is used by the auditor to verify that employee really exists or is, is, is it a fake employee how much salaries are being paid to him how many are overdue if they are overdue what's the purpose so basically the data is the thing which helps in the audit trial so do remember it is the path audit trial is the path in which the data flows uh, through an accounting information system so as i mentioned uh, the record of an employee record of a sale in, uh, sale invoice record of a you know a customer or a supplier all these things are included what is information when you assemble this data in a particular way or you process this data in a particular way to drive a meaningful you know stuff which is helpful for the user we call it as information so the raw facts and figures which is in form of data that is organized through the processing and we get information which is helpful for the user 
Moving on towards how does accounting information system works. So it works like any system works. We have input, we process and we get the output. So what is input? Input could be a data, you enter it into the system. It could be an information from internal and external sources. This data or information which is in form of input that is processed. When we process it, process means you sort it, you organize it, you calculate it or anything else. And then you get your required output which is helpful for you which is an information. Do remember input could be data or information but output is always an information which is helpful for the user. Let's move on towards what are the problems which are regard uh, related to the data processing. So computerized data processing problems. Number one, information overload for the user. With the help of accounting system, a lot of data could be processed easily and in few seconds you will get your required information. So a lot of information is provided to the user which you know it makes uh, the load or you can say the information overloaded too much information so user might get detracted what he actually wants he, if he is interested in the other stuff okay then unable to identify the input error let's suppose the input which is added into the accounting information system that is the data you were supposed to add forty thousand dollars of sales relevant to a client but you added four thousand system will process this not this so it will not be possible for the system to identify this error also, it is difficult to follow the audit trials because the processing happens in the system. So for us, it's difficult to see what processing is happening inside the system. But now, the modern accounting information system or ERP system generates the report at any particular point in time which you need. Now let's talk about what is the difference between accounting information system and ERP system both of them so uh, if you talk about accounting information system it's number one uh, cheaper as compared to ERP system and it is for accounts purposes only so this is for internal users and it only deals with financial information when you use a system information system for whole organization or for whole enterprise we call it as enterprise resource planning system it's wider it's more expensive and it is for all business functions all processes or all functions we know now what is business process all the functions like sales production uh, procurement marketing all of them are the processes so ERP is at a wider scale so it has uh, been used by the internal as well as external users it not only have financial information it also have non-financial information because it is used by non-finance departments as well and ERPs helps us in predictive analysis predictive analysis means predictions about the future so if you provide the input or the starting values uh, to the to ERP system it can produce the prediction or expected results for the future like let's suppose if uh, your uh, um, sales department wants to see that every year our sales increase with five percent so if let's suppose in 2000 
2019 the sales were 6 million then um, let's suppose in 2020 it increased with 5 uh, 5% 5 so it was 6 million and something now it, it, let's suppose we are standing on 2023 we want to predict the values for 2024 and 2025 so based on this data which is available to the system already it can produce or it can predict the values for the future easily so this facility is provided by ERP system so it's at a wider scale because it provides more services more help to the organization it is expensive the most common example is SAP remember we use SAP um, ERP system for the accounting purpose for the training even so let's move on towards uh, why they are related because if we talk about ERP system they are actually overlapping overlapping means the information is used like let's suppose accounting system needs the sale information to produce the income statement but this information is also needed by sales department to forecast about the future so uh, the same information is provided to the finance or accounts as well as the sales department accounting information system emphasize on all uh, sorry ERP system emphasize on all the business processes and it helps us in you know generating the databases integrating into seamless databases means the information easily integrated into different databases you need database for sales you need database for uh, finance or accounts department easily the information will be integrated What is the role of accounting information system in the organization? So due to uh, the information world or due to the information age, when we say information age, it means that everyone is working with technology. So uh, with the help of technology, you need only few people to work uh, for the production process. I'll give you a common example for this. In old days when the technology was not used much in order to make one pair of shoe you need one person to work on it let's suppose for four to five hours and then one pair of shoe will be ready but nowadays with the help of the machines it is very easy to produce hundreds of shoes in an hour all of them are same no difference same quality less errors and only one supervisor or one machine operator will be enough to produce these 100 or more than 100 shoes right so few workers you need because of information technology few workers you need for the production more importance is for the knowledge workers who are knowledge workers who works with the information so they produce they analyze and they manipulate and then they distribute the information so their main focus is on rest of the business activities okay so that's why information system is very important for the organization uh, since we are discussing about information system we cannot ignore the importance of e-businesses or e-commerce firstly make yourself very clear that e-business is a broader sense and e-commerce is one part of it okay e-commerce is one part of it so what is business conducting your whole business over the internet everything all the business processes you do on the internet uh, it it is getting more importance and it is increasing day by day many businesses are only available online because they can easily perform very well with the help of e-business rather than having physical location e-commerce is one part of the business now business has so many processes right so e-commerce is only related to buying and selling transactions so it is a subset of e-business and it is only related to buying and selling stuff now let's see what is new it's not that much new we are all very well familiar with these things but yes they are trending you can say current era 
everybody is you know in need of them so these are the things which are new in accounting information system number one is cloud computing sustainability reporting suspicious account at activity reporting forensic accounting and the corporate scandals and accounting so let's have a look at all of these one by one starting with cloud computing so what is cloud computing firstly let's have a definition of cloud computing and then we will see why it is helpful for the people so basically cloud computing is a way of using business applications over the internet you don't need to buy the application by your own for your personal computer online applications are available you can use them easily like online language translator online plagiarism detectors then online uh, you can say calculators so everything you do online you don't need to buy it for your computer you need internet facility for this purpose only okay so it is a way of using the business application over the internet the most common example which is very functional too much functional nowadays is using the banking transaction you don't need to go to personally bank to transfer the money to your friends or family account or uh, you know to send the money from one place to another or to purchase the stuff you can just simply do it with the help of simple clicks on your computer right so that's why people prefer cloud computing nowadays so why the organization use the cloud computing because they provide 24 by 7 support you don't need to see that I will be only using it during working hours I can use the cloud computing services anytime and this is device and location independent I don't need to use only one particular computer or one particular location or office for the cloud computing purpose anywhere any place with any device in the world you can use the facilities of cloud computing right we can open our Google Drive anywhere anytime right we can access our you can say blackboard accounts anywhere anytime they are easy and agile develop deployed it's very easy to deploy them in your system and they are utility based what features you want to use you will only be paying for them so they are utility based and they are highly automated of course when they are online then of course they are automated um, you don't need to use the internal resources for this purpose it frees up your internal resources because you don't need to buy them like let's suppose if you don't have the option of uh, Google Drive to store your data you will be using USBs or hard disks right now you don't need that because you have online facility to save your data in one drive or Google Drive right um, it does not need much capital expenditure how much you need to pay to buy the space of one drive or google drive up to some gbs it's free after that you have to buy but for your own devices you have to purchase them first then you can store the data in that right um, um, most of the cloud computing services are secure because they are provided by reliable you know suppliers but if you're using some sources which are not reliable then make sure that th th they provide you proper assurance to safeguard your data so we want reliability scalability and sustainability sustainability means that today I'm using something tomorrow if I want to use the same thing if it is not available it's not sustainable so I need sustainable so th cloud computing is sustainable and lower total cost of ownership as I said you don't need to buy the device for few GBs most of the things are free but for the organization if they use the cloud computing services they just need to buy the space over the cloud and then they can use it more space they need more they need to purchase and that's it right so the cloud computing is something new in today's world um, there are disadvantages of cloud computing as well um, we need to have a reliable internet connection if we don't have internet connection we cannot use cloud computing services uh, it's very important to look into uh, the security 
or you can say the provider of the service should ensure you that your data will be secured it will not be leaked or given to some other people and the quality of services we need fast track services reliable services reliability of services is also important so if the reliability is not there or services are not quality oriented this is the disadvantage of cloud computing but if it is available it's an advantage right um, let's talk about the second new stuff about uh, the accounting that is sustainability reporting um, sustainability reporting means that uh, this is something non-financial in nature this is non-financial reporting it does not have to do anything with your financial statements uh, but yes it does affect your value or the future performance of your organization nowadays most of the organization they issue along with their financial reports they also issue their sustainability report if you open the website of sabic or some big organization you will find with the financial reports sustainability reports as well in which they tell you that how much they take care about the environment how much they take care about the employees health or safety so for the econ uh, economy or you can say community what did they do so can you see here uh, even world development indicator provides you information about the sustainability of the countries of the world so some indicators are employee health how much tobacco they use alcohol use how much they are absent because of the health issues then um, economic factors sales net earning and share prices you try to compare them with the competitors and then employee safety factors how much fleet car accidents or accident rates of you know your employee cars um, how many days your employees were not able to work so th this is relevant to the safety how much you know um, safety issue happened in the organization or on the project sites so these type of information are given in the sustainability reporting the organization who try who are successful in predicting um, greater sustainability for their functions their future performances or their future value increases accounting information system are also important for suspicious activity reporting we also call it as SAR okay suspicious activity recording Suspicious means something which is not normal in nature. It suspects. It shows you something wrong is happening. Some money laundering activities are going to happen or some criminal activities stealing the funds from someone's account or transferring illegal funds from one place to another. So suspicious activity recording also, you know, has to do something with accounting information system why because most of the frauds or suspicious activities happens with the financial information which are the part of AIS accounting information system that's why accounting information are helpful and accounting information systems are helpful in detecting the money laundering activities or criminal uh, uh, fund related activities um, accounting information system document financial activities in the course of daily transactions you know daily data is being recorded daily processing is there so that's why it's very important to you know look into the accounting information system and you want to get the evidences for suspicious activity recording also find um, so uh, suspicious activity recording it can act as a deterrent to the criminal or terrorist activities and therefore they are an important control for accounting information system so you need to put such measures in your system which can you know um, which can uh, prohibit or which can control the criminal or terrorist activities happening in these system mostly these are relevant to the banks or insurance companies because they are the major transmitter of funds from one location to another so when suspicious activity reporting comes then in that case you have to you know look into the accounting information system being used by the organization because they can provide you great amount of evidences 
then comes forensic accounting accounting information system is also important for the forensic accounting what is the forensic accounting forensic accounting has the skills of investigation investigation means finding out some criminal activities relevant with the help of accounting and auditing okay so it's a very popular topic nowadays in in current world because when we try to investigate something with the help of accounting um, we call it as forensic accounting and usually it is relevant to the criminal activities uh, what could be the possible examples uh, of accounting information system uses in forensic accounting it helps in identifying uh, financial aid which was supplied to some terrorist or some wrong people or it denies how many financial transaction it has deny it has denied it did not do because it suspect that the transaction is for illegal purposes um, if you want to trace out where uh, the chemicals for an organization were delivered finally or uh, you know the the arms means guns and these things were delivered again you will look into the accounting information system of the organizations then um, also planning for catastrophic events uh, you can look into the accounting information system to get the information then cyber terrorism cyber terrorism means stealing the online stuff or stealing online money for the people or trying to you know uh, hijack the accounts of the people that is known as cyber terrorism so accounting information systems can help in that detecting money laundering and illegal transfer that is also uh, you know could be done or accounting information system could help in doing them in detecting them let's suppose you know a person is doing a transaction of 10,000 uh, you know uh, you can say uh, 10 to 12 times in a day in different accounts so it's a suspicious transaction it could be an attempt of money laundering because he's trying to segregate his money into different accounts in small amounts so the system will generate an alert and the transaction will be banned now the client has to see uh, the office or to email the office to uh, justify that why he's trying to do this so these are the internal control measures which are uh, adopted by the banks in order to avoid such transactions. Um, let's talk about some corporate stand scandals and accounting. So starting with Enron, Enron, we all know that in all the accounting subjects, whenever we talk about the ethics or the frauds, we always take the example of Enron, that they have manipulated their accounting records. How did they manipulate it? They recorded less liabilities and they show more of the earnings. So this was about a shift between the liabilities and you can say the revenues the revenues were on earned and like that another example is bernard um, madoff it this case happened in 2008 it was actually uh, an investment fund manager and what does they do they use uh, they introduced a ponzi ponzi scheme uh what happened in this scheme basically in order to give the return to old investors the new investment which was coming they was using this investment to pay as a return to the old investor which was wrong and once the new investment stopped coming there was no return paid to the old investor and the triangle collapsed so it was a billion of dollar losses for the investors so these are different accounting scandals now let's talk about uh, in major areas of accounting in which the IT or information technology helps so most commonly financial accounting auditing taxation and managerial accounting so let's see them one by one 
that how does information technology helps in financial accounting auditing and managerial accounting starting uh, with the financial accounting so technology has made or information technology has made the life of the accountants easy because it helps them in providing the relevant information for the users on time and quickly before everything was manual all the quarterly semi annually statements were released once they are made manually but now with the help of accounting information system any point in time your rough statements are available so it's easy to provide the relevant information to the investors and creditors and financial statements are produced on time accounting information system has also helped financial accounting uh internally for the internal users when i say internally or for the internal users it means management so it provides the relevant information on time to the management because management needs frequent information for the planning or decision making purpose or to provide different control activities so they need data so now they don't need to wait for it because accounting information system or erp system are not user dependent any user who has login and he has access to the particular data he can generate the reports easily so the work of internal users become more quicker also the division and the product managers they can easily take the decision they can check the performance of their products or their divisions right um whole accounting cycle now it is being incorporated in the system uh, the clerk or the person who enters the data he just need to put the data for the accounts which are hit by the journal entry summarizing them into ledgers preparing the trial balance or adjusting entries or post tr closing trial balance or preparing the trans uh, financial statement everything is done by accounting information system and you don't need to wait for the year end you can generate these reports any particular point in time when you need only the input is needed so the the process become too quick and too fast financial accounting also is needed you know for the non accountants or for non uh, you know f financial people so um, f mostly uh, you know we call it as rea accounting rea accounting means resource event and agent accounting so um, this is an idea that uh, you can store the important non financial information um into the system which is regarding different resources which you are having different events which are happening different announcements and who are your agents so agents means your uh, you know suppliers and all those um it helps in real time reporting real time means when it is needed you can do the reporting immediately you don't need to wait um also it helps in interactive data and that is done with the help of xbrl now what is interactive data interactive data are the data that can be used whenever it is needed it can be reused any time when it is needed like let's suppose if you have total um you can say inventory it is needed by you know the finance department because they need to make the financial statement this inventory is also needed by purchasing or procurement department this inventory can also help your sales department to find out how much product is unsold also by marketing department to find out which marketing strategy they need to use so reusable data in multiple you know locations or applications it could be used they just need to tag the data tag means use uh, the the you know code of the data and this tagging is done with the help of xbrl 
XBRL is a language we call it as extensible business reporting language it is a language that is used for this purpose used for which purpose to tag the data to be used in multiple locations second domain of accounting in which information technology is helpful that is managerial accounting uh, purpose is or objective is to provide the relevant information to the managers who are actually the internal users so that they can take timely decision timely decision about what about the cost accounting about the budgeting so if we talk about cost accounting cost accounting is one dimension of managerial accounting it measures and controls the cost you know you do the costing for acquisition processing distribution or selling activities but only costing accounting information system helps in this purpose and the accounting information system most common example is activity based costing system which is nowadays available in all the ais this activity based costing system helps us in distributing the cost among the different unit produced by the machines so abc system we also call it as abc system we also call it as activity based system and uh, it helps us in assigning the cost of uh, you know overhead or labor among the different units which you have produced um accounting information system can also helps in measuring the corporate performance measurement or the business intelligence now what does it means um it helps us you know in identifying what was uh, the kpi kpi means key performance indicator now let's suppose how many units were supposed to be produced uh by the production department right this was the kpi that they have to produce 5 million units in a month for example how many actually they produced let's suppose if they produce 4 million so you can identify the performance easily with the help of accounting information system quickly otherwise you have to check the manual records so much manual calculations and then you will be able to identify that the target was achieved or not okay so business intelligence system are actually the part of accounting information system or you can say in wider scale uh, erp system have this facility uh, because they help us in checking the performance of the employee that how many kpis were achieved moving on towards um, activity based costing system which i just showed you over here let's have a look at it So basically most commonly we use activity based costing system to allocate the overhead cost. Uh what does overhead means? You know that the cost is for three types material, labor and overhead. Overhead cost includes the machine operation cost or the facility cost, right? So it's difficult to assign the cost to the units manually. let's suppose if you have produced 5 million units and your total cost was 20 million overhead cost um abc system helps us in allocating this cost easily to these units why because of automation because of use of the technology it's difficult to allocate how much overhead was used by which unit because in bulk quantity we produce the units from the machine right so because of the automation it's very difficult to directly know that how much labor or overhead cost was used for particular unit so we use abc system to allocate the cost um uh, and this is very easy with the help of accounting information system implementation because it's easily assign the overhead cost to the units produced um the most common uh, this abc system is a most common factor for the strategic planning purpose that's why the allocation of the overhead cost is very important in a proper manner 
the second parameter was it helps us in the corporate performance measurement right so a uh, corporate performance measurement uh, as i roughly said that it helps us in measuring the performance like i gave you the example of five million and four million units uh the m one important concept which comes under the head of corporate performance measurement that is known as responsibility accounting um, this topic you will be studying in more detail in managerial accounting but here because it is coming so we need to have an understanding of it that responsibility accounting um, system is uh, uh, generally speaking it says that the performance should be measured in such a way that the person who is responsible for which task he is answerable for that only his performance is measurable only for that task so if a task is not performed properly it is unfavorable so unfavorable performance should only be you know allocated to that person or department who is responsible for this let's suppose um, a production department did not produce the goods on time uh, we cannot say they are responsible check out might be the reason is purchase department they did not purchase the material on time so responsibility accounting says that the delay in the production is not the responsibility of production department because this happened because of the delayed material which is from the purchasing department so proper person should be accountable for that okay and immediate corrective actions are taken by the management when they figure out this issue Another important concept regarding uh, the corporate performance is balanced score. Balanced score includes four concepts which should be uh, clear to us. So what are they? Number one, it includes the financial performance. It includes um, the customer knowledge. It includes internal business process and it also includes learning and growth so all these things together they are known as balanced score so you can see the balanced score measures the business performance in these four areas that how much is their financial strength how much knowledge they have about their customer internal business processes are how much efficient and how much growth and learning is happening in this organization so these are about the corporate performance measure and they are very easy with the help of you know accounting information system lastly uh, when I, I was discussing this point with you about the cost accounting I said business intelligence so business intelligence means um, efficiently creating a summarized result of the business so in form of a dashboard dashboard means it's a it's a summary about the different parts or different processes of the organization so if you see here we have a uh, sales uh, in the dollars and in the amounts uh, and also we have country uh, wise sales for the company we also have month wise we also have you know product wise so you can see that the dash this graphical presentation is very easy if you are using a system or ERP system or accounting information system because the system will be producing this dashboard for you so we call it as business intelligence um, accounting information system is also helpful in budgeting so what is budgeting planning for the future cost and the revenues so it's a financial projection for the future all the organization they do short-term and long-term planning so um, useful information is needed by the management and if you have accounting information system it's very easy for you to generate the information which management needs you can compare your actual results with the budgeted results with the help of AIS very easily how does systems helps in uh, auditing 
um, so the traditional role what is auditing or you can see the definition of auditing is to evaluate the accuracy and the complete uh, completeness of the financial statements of the organization when organization prepares the financial statement uh, they are not uh, you know uh, reliable until and unless an audit firm an accounting firm authenticated they say that yes this information is reliable so this process is known as auditing um, in the current era auditing checks that uh, does the client is following the law of the country regarding the accounting applications um, also auditor is responsible to check uh, you know the IT evaluation or you can say check the security of the system that the privacy is there the system is secure information is not leaked and also sometimes in uh, you know internal auditing case they help in management consultancy or they uh, they provide the consultancy services to the management because if they find the weak areas they tell the management that how to overcome them accounting information system is also helpful for the taxation different taxation softwares are available which easily creates and evaluate the tax strategies and also they transmit the completed form generated from the system to uh, you know the tax authorities um, for the professional uses also the uh, accounting information system are helpful because research challenging questions could be answered they provide the up-to-date data and if the database access is given um, it's easy for the researchers to use it but do remember this is not the accounting information system of the organization this is online database uh, which is you know the only the information which is relevant to the externals that is provided in the soft form careers in accounting information system since we are talking about accounting information system so we should know that uh, what job opportunities are available for such people who are expert in accounting information system means they have the knowledge of accounting as well as they have the knowledge of information system so of course the traditional accounting job is available for them uh, because they understand the accounting and they also understand the information system um, they can also become the certified information technology professionals they also give the system consultancy system consultancy means IT companies who design the information system they need you know experts who knows accounting so these people can join them as well they help in designing and re-engineering the system um, they help in software and the hardware selections and they help in value adding reseller services uh, to the IT companies who generate uh, you know the systems for uh, accounting also uh, at the advanced level if you do certifications you can become certified fraud examiner it's a professional certification and this is this certification is given by the association of certified fraud examiner you have to appear for the exam prepare for the exam and you get this certification ID auditing and security uh, this the, this area also have different jobs like you can become risk analyst with information system you can find the flaws or the bugs in the system which could be dangerous or which could be unsecure for the organization um, you can aid financial auditor in evaluation of the control by becoming a supporter to them you can by with the help of certification with the help of examination you can become the certified information system auditor this post is very important for the audit and also you can help in the testing by uh, you know testing uh, the information newly developed information system you can provide your you know QAC services or testing services from the accounting perspective this is it about the coverage for the chapter number one in which we have discussed what is accounting information system and how it is related to the accountant. Inshallah, I'll come back with the next lesson, which is information technology and accounting information system, in which we will be discussing about different input, output and the processing devices. See you with the next video. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.